Will you trade? Please. I have barely made enough to offer in tribute. Tribute to who? The cult of Kukulkan, of course. They demand half of all profits earned on market day. But if they think I tried to short them... I understand. Thank you, Ishiki. Will you trade then? The gods favor us both. I am certain you will find it useful. You have made an excellent choice, my friend. I am certain you will find it. May the gods smile upon you. I urge you to be wary, Ahau. We've broken the uprising, but they are still around. Alone, you are a target. I'm confident I can deal with any rebel I meet. <laughs> well said. They can't stand against us. Although, they did fight like demons. They fight for their survival. All these fallen soldiers, far more rebels than cultists. Hachebanu chik in Topikono. Chenhum pelva telilu helbe shunahe. Shani dugu. Minero nukolov. Malov. Yet el mishuts kan sanilobi. Tokili uhet dan tike. Beili kun uchulo. Hachwahel un binton utzil waminan kukulkan tik wignalone? The collection of reeds bundled together with rope and stone is used as a calendar usually representing a 52-year cycle. Pateni, you may say, Vinka, ma, what's going on? This describes something nearby. They stand back to back, two brothers in arms. I lie at the feet of the one who watches the shaded serpent. Do you think there will be any more of these uh, uprisings? 
Market day has been completely disrupted. I'm sure there'll be a solution to this conflict soon. Well, I hope so. Bulging eyes. Fangs. This is Tlaloc, the Aztec god of rain and storms. In his gentler temperament, he's also the god of water and fertility, bestowing life and sustenance. But on the other side of the coin, he's responsible for thunder and lightning, hail, and the other destructive aspects of water, including erosion, affiliating him with caves, pools, and springs. Oddly enough, he lives in a mountain. His bird is the heron, but he's associated also with animals like snails, frogs, and other amphibians. Found you. Lara, your serpent guard disguise is good. I discovered the passphrase for the prison where they're holding my mother. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. Understood. We'll get her out, Etsley. There's one more thing. Hakan has been captured. He's my friend Kiara's dad. If he is sacrificed, I... I'll see what I can do. Come see what I have to trade. How can I help you, Lara? Everything is for sale, except Remax drum. Enjoy it. Come find me if you need anything else. Mm. See what I have to trade. These ear ornaments are in pristine condition. They contain a carved out illustration of a winged beast with a pronounced trunk and a torch or staff in its hand. This type of jewelry is a symbol of wealth and prosperity, maybe even belonging to royalty. Paititians who wrote this believe that something called the Yashil live beneath Paititi. According to this record, these beings are strongest during astrological events, which is consistent with the legends, but they also attack and feed on humans, but that's not the behavior that usually appears in the stories. From this description, what they call the Yashil is the same type of creature I encountered in Kowakyaku. When the crimson fire smokes, seek your mirror. Hmm, bit enigmatic that. I wonder what it's supposed to mean. Hmm. 
This wooden firearm is almost an exact replica of a modern assault rifle. The artisan who made this must have had an excellent memory or worked from a model, perhaps a weapon stolen from Trinity. That must be Kiara, the girl Etsy mentioned, which means her Khan is in that cell. I've got to find a way to get him out. I'm sorry, Ahau. Please don't hurt me. I only wanted to say goodbye to my father. I'm not going to hurt you, Kiara. I'm with the Rebellion. How do you know my name? Your friend Etsley told me I should help you. He... he did? Yes. So, why don't you tell me what's happened? My father blames Kukulkan for Mother's death. I told him that nothing would bring her back, but he didn't listen. He tried to kill Kukulkan and now he's going to die and I will be left all alone. Hey, it'll be okay, little one. Maybe I can help. Really? There are other rebels here in the square. They want to help as well, but they're too scared. Maybe you can convince them. I'll do whatever I can, Kiera. I promise you, I won't let them take your father from you. Thank you, Aho. Call me Lara. Don't be alarmed. I'm a friend of Unaratu's. I'm trying to free the prisoner and I need your help. Of course, but those guards will kill us if we get too close. Deal with them first, then I will do what you need. I want to free the prisoner, but I can't do it alone. You must be the Ishiki Unuratu spoke of. If you can make it safe, I will help open the door. Blessings, Zahao. Are you enjoying the executions? The executions? Of course, but... I need you to stop the prayers for now. Would you play your instruments for an envoy of the gods? We would be honored to help. Are you still willing to help? Yes, as soon as the guards are gone. And now music? Will this execution ever Can happen? I still count on you? Come on, those guards you better are make still sure everyone problem. stays in line. You know what you have to do. Okay, the guards are gone. We must move now. It's safe now. Help me open the door. Yes, we must move. This should do it. Friend. I do not have any friends that look like you. Trust me, I'm a wolf in sheep's clothing. Your daughter's waiting. Can you walk? Kayara! Damn! Kayara! Go! Get someplace safe! I will find you! I'll find us a way out of here. I remember you now. You are the outsider I saw with Unuratu. And if I. Through here. Stay close. These are the old barracks. This way. Kayara, I am coming. The way out is blocked. So King Waletech, Cabe in Putzolon. If we work together, we can move this stone. You helped. Not that. 
the way to what's important. To my daughter. Here, this knife. It belonged to my wife. I was going to kill Kukul Khan with it. I have no use for it now. Papa! Okay, Ara! I thought I was never going to see you again, Papa. I am so sorry, my sweet child. Let me look at you. I promise I will never leave you again. Come on. Let's go home. Exalted and knowing may enter the sacred ground. Innocent eyes will blink at dawn when weakness falls away. You may enter. Charade of rebellion. Until we succeed, and you're no longer a threat. And you say this to my face? You know I don't know. Amaru, remember who you are. I am one of you. Yeah. Is that why you had me arrested? If my brother was alive, rest his soul. Yeah, he will think this bickering is a waste of time. Come home. I am home. This is home. Unaru, to dream for a moment. How will Baititi prosper when dawn comes in a world without threats coming from the outside? Aren't you such a threat? Remake the world? We all create destiny together as we are. Everything I've ever done has been for Paititi. Everything! When it was divided, I unified it! I am the only one who sees the real threat here. You come and go as if your life here is optional. Yes. I have lived the outside world and I have seen what's to come. Every day it encroaches. Paititi will not survive its invasion. Everything we are will be taken or destroyed. Well, then we must fight for it together, according to the will of its people. By restoring the sun. Hmm? That will only ensure Baititi's safety for a moment. But then, it doesn't protect us from discovery, invasion. Our destiny is to be doomed. No! No, we... we must be bold! Decisive! Act with me. I need your intelligence, your resilience in my world. A world ruled by the cult of Kukultan? Or should I say Trinity? If it's control you want, you can have it. Just help me now ensure Paititi's safety, and then, by all means, you can govern it as you wish. I will give you the throne. I will do it. No. I will find the box and restore the sun. May its light be your judge. Why do you think so little of me? Hmm? 
Take her back to herself. You can send me back, but I will never betray your people. No, you will just fail them. The box is gone. A missionary, Andres Lopez. He stole it 400 years ago. What? You just wasted your life searching in the wrong place. Leave me now. Kuku Khan bid me to join the ranks of the priesthood. The pantheon of Paititians is a patchwork of several cultures. I'll need to study their rituals, their beliefs, and learn how we can use their own gods against them. The ones from across the water are devious and intelligent. I do not doubt the city will soon be united under the control of Kuku Khan. Another group of children is on their way from Khan, traveling via steamship. Of the ten I have sent, please keep a close eye on the one called Amaru. He shows the greatest promise. However, he is prone to bouts of sullenness and often complains about missing his brother. I suggest a special curriculum be created for this one, something that will keep him too occupied to be homesick. The shadows loom long and dark, the mountain black as night, in mourning as the strange pale men end the short but immensely productive life of Kaiyuaka Park. He whose yearning for greatness lashed this city to his shoulders and carried it upwards, who only ever asked for Enti to warm his brow as he worked, in the streams or fields or brickyards. Kaiyuaka Park made a deal with the strange men. He gave his life so that we may live ours, free but under the new rule of these men from distant lands. Oh no, Kukulkan. This is Tonatia, the sun god and ruler of the Aztec heaven, which they called Tolan. He was literally the sun itself, the fifth one, in fact, presiding over the fifth age after the four previous suns had perished. The Aztecs believed they had to sacrifice to him regularly or else he would refuse to move across the sky. He was strongly associated with eagles, unsurprisingly, and was often depicted wearing their feathers and carrying weapons such as arrows and shields or instruments specifically created for human sacrifice. Top The city's priests, or shamans, if we mean to differentiate between the heathens and those who toil in the Lord's light, were the first to come forward. The first to listen, to hear of the state of the outside world. And thereupon, several of them felt completely cheated and begged to be baptized. They reasoned rightly, their worship and trust was misplaced in the traditional deities of these lands. 
For as one stated, if your God has brought you here, across the world, then he truly must be the most powerful, and only a fool would not bow to such a being. We will teach these shamans English, and have them teach the population of Paititi. That black and yellow stripe across his face marks this as Tezcatlipoca, a very important god to the Aztecs. Let's see if I can remember everything he was associated with. Jaguars, hurricanes, the night winds, the night sky, earth, the north, sorcery, beauty, temptation, leadership, war, strife, interpersonal conflict in general, and of course, obsidian and divination. His right foot is often replaced with a piece of reflective obsidian, which the Aztecs used as mirrors, and these mirrors figured in shamanic rituals and prognostication. Tezcatlipoca literally means smoking mirror. In an effort to reduce the possibility of disease entering Paititi, Emperor Shika hereby temporarily bans all citizens from exiting the city. Anyone currently beyond the city's limits will not be authorized to re-enter. Paititi is still recovering from a recent epidemic and any other outbreaks could tip the already precarious balance. By order of the cult of Kukul Khan. In order to not upset an already delicately balanced situation, all members of Trinity will adhere to the following rules. Limit excursions in the city. If leaving the compound is unavoidable, always wear the cultist uniform. Do not carry modern weapons. Avoid direct contact with Paititians when possible. Wife of Enti, daughter of Viracocha and mother of the founders of the Incan Empire. Likely another artifact extorted from the people of Paititi by the cult. I know where she is. I'm going in. Okay. We're on our way. Did you feel the tremor before? Yeah. When I was in the cenote, it was a foreshock. The earthquake is coming soon. We have to hurry. Yeah. When we get Unuraju out, we'll all go find the box together. Thank you. 